Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Samsung One UI running Android 9.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S Plus or the S9. So what happened today was we got the third update, the third beta for the actual beta software. So let me go to the gallery. I took a screenshot before I did the upgrade uh, to show you guys what they gave us this time. Now this was a relatively small update. It's only 133.87 megabytes. And if you look at the bottom over here, uh, you'll see that there were five or six bug fixes that they fixed. And also some system enhancements and some um, uh, software enhancements that just make the beta more smooth and responsive overall. I haven't noticed anything big here, uh, but when you do go to the settings, uh, when you go to uh, certain uh, menu settings over here, like advanced features, uh, you'll see that there are some changes to names. So we have a game launcher here. Uh, previously, it was called the game mode. As a matter of fact, if I put the uh, Samsung Galaxy S9 here uh, that is still running the older beta, let me just show you what that looks like. So if I go to the settings over here, and if I go into the uh, advanced features, you'll see that it says games, and here it says games, uh, game launcher. So those little updates are happening here and there. Uh, more things are being added as the updates keep rolling, and we're getting closer and closer to the final version of the software. I did notice one more thing here with the edge panel. So when you go to the edge panels over here, and when you tap on this button at the bottom, now normally you swipe between the edge panels just like this to find the right panel for you. Uh, but when you want to quickly switch between the panels, you can tap on this button here that gives you a quick shortcut of all the panels. Now if you look at the current Samsung uh, Note 9 or the S9 or the S9 Plus with no updates uh, with Android 8, you're still gonna get this, but it's gonna look a little bit different. So I do like this one here a little bit better. Now quickly, here's the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And again, if I go to the edge panels here, and if I tap on that button here, uh, as you can see, you get them uh, as bigger icons you get. And of course, when we click over here, everything's gonna be smaller. And as usual, everything's gonna be uh, uh, pulled down towards the user so you can easily use the phone with one hand. I uh, remember that was the whole point of the actual uh, Samsung One UI, at least one of the main points. Uh, basically, when you go into a menu, you can pull the whole thing down towards you, and then that's gonna make it easier to use the phone with one hand. So the same thing actually reflects on the edge panels, which is fantastic. So if I tap this button, I can quickly access any edge panel I want with one hand only, okay? Uh, otherwise, so far, the edge panels look almost identical, uh, but that's that. Uh, let's keep moving on and talk about more stuff. And of course, if you do currently are running uh, Samsung One UI Beta, if you do want to update, all you want to do uh, is you want to go into the settings, uh, go all the way down to software update, just tap on download and install. It's going to check for the update and you should see this thing right here. Now, in this case, it's going to be a little bit bigger because this one is running Android One First Beta, uh, One UI First Beta, okay? This is on the third one. This is on the fourth one. But this is how you update it if you want to do that. But yeah, that's basically it for the Android Beta 3, the Samsung One UI Beta 3 update. Uh, again, though, if you look around, it's the same thing. Uh, this is the Samsung One UI. Everything comes towards you. Uh, you've got this nice navigation bars, this multitasking. You can tap on these buttons here to get even more options. So if I go to this uh, menu, I mean this uh, app over here, if I tap on that button, you get even more options here. I can do pop-up view and all that good stuff. Okay, and it's very smooth and very responsive, even for a beta. I have not been using this very heavily, so I haven't uh, had any uh, crashing or freezing, but I bet you if I do use it heavily, there might be some bugs and some crashes, but that's what they're fixing with their uh, beta updates every single time. There's one thing that I really like. Uh, this is from the beta two, but I'm gonna show, you, show it to you guys one more time. So if I go to the settings, if I go to the display, uh, first thing we have is we have the night mode. So I can tap on this one, Everything turns to black and white, so it's easier on the eyes at nighttime. Uh, but the other thing here is if I go into the uh, display and go to the navigation bar, uh, you can do the full uh, screen gesture, and it looks like they made these three lines here that now you can do like this. I can go home. I can bring up the app switcher. If I'm in a menu, I can go back just like that. Okay, uh, but again, looks like they made these uh, on the third beta even a little bit more uh, uh, bolder, so you can see them easier. Uh, so you know that this is home, this is the app switcher, and this is the back button. Okay, so home, app switcher, and the back button. 
Okay, but other than that, everything is the same. Uh, if you want more details, just watch my first beta review, and that goes into the full details of everything that happened uh, with the Samsung One UI, what you should expect. The link to that video is down in the description box below. Now make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for constant updates on the betas uh, for the Samsung One UI on the S9, S9 Plus, and very soon on the Note 9. All right, guys, have a fantastic day for now.